Welcome to How Do Hackers Hack. They eventually hack a few targets and then they call themselves hackers. Each one of them or each group of them has their own private arsenal. So each How Do Hackers Hack. What exactly is a hack? So an attacker would like to hack this code by running this transfer money without actually having the secret pin. And pipe it to code. So you see now, very easily, it says a thousand dollars was transferred to your account. So the transfer function was called. Complicated exploit could do many interesting things instead of just running transfer money. Distributed denial of service costs a lot of money to the attackers. They have to create a network of a million different machines that are all under their control. The way we exploit this code is that we try any username. I'll just use foo because we don't know the admin's username. We want to exploit it. And I entered this password, which might look weird to you, but just bear with me and I'll explain what it is. As you can see, it's one single code space or space single code one single code equals single code one. And now I hit submit. Apparently, this is not a correct username and password page, uh, pair, so the application should say invalid username or password. But let's see what it says. The application says, welcome ABSX, the black and green terminal. You've all seen the black and green terminal. So I don't want to do that either. I want to use another tool to count them for me. It's called WC, stands for word count. And now you see that it tells me that there are 55 lines. So with the hooded anonymous, one virus to rule them all. This is another one of those things, the super virus myth. A single virus cannot infect every system. How to become a hacker, the painstaking guide to becoming an actual hacker. In this chapter, we're going to talk about how you can become a real hacker.